Welcome to the ADFS SSO setup demonstration. In this video, we'll walk through the steps required to set up authentication in an SSO environment. We'll focus mainly on the steps related to the ADFS setup. In our environment, ThingWorks is configured for single sign-on using ADFS as both the central authentication server and the identity provider. Here are the steps we'll cover. We'll review some prerequisites. We'll export the ADFS signing certificate, add and configure a relying party trust, create and export a ThingWorks signing certificate, add attribute mapping to the relying party trust, configure ADFS for message encryption, and configure SSO on the ThingWorks side. We'll also review the authorization setup. Before you get started, you will need to complete the following tasks. You will need to install ADFS, create a user named administrator under the ADFS server manager, download the ADFS Federation metadata.xml file from your ADFS server. This file can be found at the URL highlighted on the screen. Just substitute the fully qualified domain name of your ADFS server in the angled brackets. And you will need to install ThingWorks. You can find more information about these initial tasks in the ThingWorks Help Center. After completing the initial tasks, the first thing we need to do in ADFS is export the signing certificate. In the upper right corner of the ADFS Server Manager, click Tools and select the ADFS Management option. In the left pane, click ADFS, expand the Service folder, and select Certificates. A list of certificates is displayed in the center pane. Double-click the certificate listed under Token Signing. This will open a Certificate Information window. Select the Details tab and click Copy to File. The Certificate Export Wizard opens. Click Next. On the next page, leave the default format options and click Next. Enter a file name and click Next. Click Finish to export the certificate file. You should see a message saying that the certificate was exported successfully. Click OK to dismiss the message. Next, we need to add a relying party trust. We'll launch another wizard that will take us through multiple steps. In the left pane of the ADFS window, click Relying Party Trust. From the Actions menu in the right pane, select Add Relying Party Trust. This launches the wizard. On the first page of the wizard, select Claims Aware and click Start. At the bottom of the page, select the option called Enter Data About the Relying Party Manually. Click Next. On this page of the wizard, enter a display name for the relying party trust you're creating. Be sure you make a note of the name that you enter. You will need this name in a later step. Click Next. Click Next again. On the Configure URL page, select the second option, Enable Support for the SAML 2.0 Protocol. In the Service URL field, Enter your ThingWorks SAML SSO URL. It should follow the format of the highlighted URL on the screen. This time, in the angled brackets, you need to substitute the fully qualified domain name of your ThingWorks server. Click Next. On the Configure Identifiers page, enter a relying party trust identifier using the format shown on the screen. In the angled brackets, substitute the fully qualified domain name of your ThingWorks server and its port number. Click Add. Repeat the steps to add a second relying party trust identifier. 
This time, use the display name you made a note of earlier in the Add Relying Party Trust Wizard. When that's done, click Next. On the Choose Access Control Policy page, select the first option, Permit Everyone, then click Next. On the Ready to Add Trust page, click Next. On the Finish page, click Close. You have now added a SAML-enabled Relying Party Trust with two identifiers and an access control policy. Next, we'll create and import a ThingWorks signing certificate. First, generate a JKS key store and save it with the file name sso-keystore.jks. Next, export the public part of the certificate from the key store and save it with the name thingworks.sir. This file will be the Thingworks signing certificate. In order to import the signing certificate into ADFS, click Relying Party Trusts in the menu on the left. Select the Relying Party Trust you previously created and double-click it to open the Properties window. Click the Signature tab. In the bottom left, click Add. Navigate to the certificate you just created and select it. The certificate is now listed on the Signature tab. Click OK. Your ThingWorks signing certificate has now been created and imported. In the next set of steps, we'll add some attribute mapping to the Relying Party Trust. In the center pane, select a Relying Party Trust. From the Actions menu on the right, click Edit Claim Issuance Policy. The Issuance Transform Rules window opens. To create your own rules, click Add Rule and define new attribute mappings. For now, let's click Edit and look at a sample rule that's already been created with multiple attributes mapped. When you create your own rules, you'll want to map attributes according to your own business needs. One last step must be completed in ADFS for your SSO configuration. You need to configure the SAML response signature so that communication can succeed. You can find instructions for this task in the PTC Identity and Access Management Help Center at the URL on the screen. See the topic called Set up ADFS to encrypt the complete message and assertion. There you will find instructions for executing a command to configure the SAML response signature. Finally, we need to configure single sign-on from the ThingWorks side. The steps required for this configuration are detailed in the ThingWorks Help Center. See the topic, Configure ThingWorks for Single Sign-On, at the URL shown on the screen. Before you start configuring ThingWorks, make sure you stop your ThingWorks server. Then perform the steps in the Help Center to complete the following tasks. Create the SSO Security Config folder, add the IDP metadata file, create the symmetric folder, configure the platform settings.json file, configure the SSO settings.json file, configure the validation.properties file, and import certificates to a key store file. Now we'll discuss steps 5 and 7 in a bit more detail. For step 5, configuring the SSO settings.json file, start by creating the settings file and saving it to the SSO security config directory. Here we see an example of an SSO settings.json file. You'll need to enter a metadata entity ID. This ID must match the second relying party trust identifier that you created in ADFS during a previous step. This was the ID that matched the display name of the relying party trust. Also, you'll need to enter the SAML assertion username attribute name. 
This value must be in the form shown on the screen. For step 7 of the ThingWorks configuration, you will need to locate the sso-keystore.jks file that you generated previously. You generated this file when you created and imported your ThingWorks signing certificate. Copy the JKS file into the SSO security config folder of your ThingWorks installation directory. Next, locate the ADFS signing certificate that you previously exported using the certificate export wizard. Import this signing certificate into the SSO keystore.jks file that is now located in the SSO security config folder of your ThingWorks installation directory. Restart ThingWorks to apply your changes. You can also configure authorization in this environment where ThingWorks is set up for single sign-on using ADFS as both the central authentication server and the identity provider. Several steps are required. You'll need to import the ADFS SSL certificate into the ThingWorks Java CA certs file. In ADFS application groups, configure ThingWorks with a resource provider. You will need to update the ThingWorks configuration files, configure ThingWorks to work with the resource provider, and validate that ThingWorks is working with the configured resource provider. For detailed information about all the procedures in this video, go to the PTC Identity and Access Management Help Center at the URL on the screen. See the example called ADFS as Central Auth Server and Identity Provider. Thanks for watching this demonstration of the ADFS SSO setup. For more information, check out the Help Center.